Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. We have now reached the part of the year where you can just know um, that underneath my cool, calm exterior, I am just absolutely sweating uh, ridiculously with every video because the fans are too loud. This all might be a moot point if you can hear my husband taking a shower next door. But anyway, the point, uh, today's video is a weekly plan with me video. I usually do these over the weekend, getting ready for the week, but I was really sick this last weekend. I mean, I was sick this last weekend, too sick to uh, film. I, my daughter, I think, gave me some sort of cold. Whatever it is, I got it worse than her, or at least she was less affected. Um, and I just was not up to it. So if you uh, were waiting for like a shorts video, I, I didn't make one this week because uh, I just was not feeling it. And also, uh, yeah, this this week's plan with me just hasn't happened. Like I haven't done my planning, as you see. Um, my whole weekly is not set up. Now, if I had not been planning to film it, it wouldn't have been a problem. I would have just, you know, done it anyway. I would have curled up on the couch and maybe not made it as pretty, uh, but I would have, you know, gotten it done and then had, you know, something to go off of. But I was planning to do this video. I had already rearranged this month's schedule. And uh, do you know, like next week is already the monthly plan with me. For, I was going to say, what month isn't coming up for July, which is crazy. I mean, it's always crazy. Time is marching on, and uh, I, yeah, was, there's nothing else I can do. This is the video that's happening this week, and so I needed to, like, film it. So, in order to save this pristine, unplanned version for you, what I did was I just, sorry, I just planned out, like, today's to-do list. Um, and I'm filming this Monday evening after all of that has already happened. So I'm just going to get started with some decoration. As, as you can see, I haven't done any. This is the optional portion, but I am feeling much better. And so let me just get that done real quick before we move on. So these uh, stickers from Twin 16, I don't think I've actually ever finished a sticker sheet before, um, but these are Monday through Sundays and I liked them a lot. Um, and so I needed to place a new order for some more and instead I actually decided to try a different shop. So I have an order coming in sometime hopefully before I need to plan next week from Mad Hatter stickers. Um, she follows me, she followed me on Instagram first. Uh, which is how I found out about her shop and I was so glad I did because she has all kinds of header stickers it's just kind of my jam like you see these kinds so I ordered a whole bunch and I'm actually gonna do a, like a haul video and that'll come out on a Sunday I haven't made a Sunday video in a long time so look forward to that but for this week I'm using these ones from twin 16 for one final week one last hurrah and oh my goodness that's so wonky but it doesn't matter um, this is the little pencil case that I got at Daiso that I used to carry around my colors um, these two roughly. I'm just gonna put a couple of little splashes of color this weekend daily here and then I'm just using this plain old daily here I think I'll do the same this is basically what I did last week I think it was just brown and then I filled up my time ladder with like my work hours in the teal color been using this top box um, to jot down something very brief, even just like one word or something that reminds me of what I did that day of what I can put in my line a day journal because sometimes I will forget. 
Um, so if I make an extra point of like jotting something down, it makes more sense to me to like fill it out, you know, once a week or a little more often than that. But I don't have to pull it out every single day as long as I at least remembered like a little jog in my memory what I did each individual day. So um, I've got this week on a fold out, or it's not even week on a fold out, sorry, it's just a fold out checklist. This is insert 37 and it's kind of folded a little wonky. I think it's because of the humidity from literally just my body. Um, so this is my general to-do list for the week, right? And so this is what's sticking out and I can see it. This is the stuff that I'm hiding from you. <laughs> um, under this header uh, is my content schedule, which I will be filling out later off camera because uh, I like to keep that a surprise. Um, and not feel like, I don't know, judged or whatever. Not that you judge me for my content. I just like it to be a surprise is all. Um, so for example, this last week, uh, this is what it looked like. I didn't cross everything out, but I did get most of it done. Well, I guess not really. Uh, Cause yeah, that's, I didn't get a short video done. And then this is, this important stuff is for things that are coming up that don't need to get done this week. These headers don't really apply um, so much. I just wanted a header. So it is important, things that I don't want to forget. But basically this is for either stuff that's a secret or stuff that doesn't need to be on the front of my mind. This is the idea. Um, and then this is the stuff that I actually do want to get done this particular week. And I can see it no matter what day I'm on and pull things over. Um, so that's what's going on. I will not be showing this off on Instagram, this page, because like I said, it's secret and it can be. So there you go. Um, I am going to actually do some planning now. I don't always do the actual planning on camera, but um, let's start by taking the things off last week's general to-do list and putting them over on today's or this week's to-do list. So basically, I think everything can go straight over. There we go. This is usually what I do for fold outs is I'll fold them backwards when I want to write on them. Um, that's just my little handy tip, but I'll say the fold is getting kind of wonky. But there you go, that's what I do. Then anything that I didn't get done over the course of the week, most of those got migrated day to day, um, except for the stuff over the weekend when, like I said, I was sick. So obviously um, these things that are on my to-do list need to get moved over as well as the things that I put in the next week section, which I never intended to do over the weekend. Uh, so these get moved over as well. Next, there are some things that happen, um, like for example, I know that we're watching Loki Wednesday night, as are we all. I know that I have to pay the babysitter on Thursdays, because that's the last day that we wa that she watches our kids every week. Um, then I know that on Saturday morning, my husband is taking his dad out to brunch. So I'm just gonna put that in parentheses because I'm staying home with the girls. Brush, brunch. Stop talking and writing at the same time. Ah, now it's all ruined. Uh, let's see, Saturday morning brunch. Um, we are not going to that, so it's in parentheses. I just said that. Then Sunday at 11.45, which does not fit there, is swim lessons. We're starting swim lessons. I don't know if I've mentioned it on here before. I think I probably did on my monthly plan with me. Um, both of our girls, we have a, a toddler and a baby. They both fit into the like water babies category uh, at the Y. So we, uh, they get to take the same swim class together. They each need a parent. So all four of us are going to be in the pool together. And I just think that's going to be really fun. Um, and then sometime Sunday is going to be, you know, the Father's Day celebration. So I'm just going to kind of jot that here. Father's Day. Uh, okay, I feel like it makes me a pedant, but I, I put the apostrophe at the end because we celebrate all fathers, right? Maybe if you only had one father in your life, you know, you didn't have your own plus your spouse plus your in-laws and whatever. I don't know, but I feel like every, every father gets celebrated on Father's Day. Uh, so it gets an apostrophe at the end. 
And then, I don't know about to-dos for the weekend or anything like that. The, um, the stuff that goes on this important list, which I said is like upcoming things um, that don't need to happen right now, um, are going to be involved a lot in these upcoming weekend plans. So we have swim lessons here, 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 so and so on. But the big thing that's coming up is my daughter's birthday. So we need to um, sort of decide the things that we're going to be bringing to the pool party, which is a joint thing with a friend, and we don't have to fortunately do too much with. Um, Agnes Gifts. And this back to school shopping. When I say back to school, that's just the season, right? It's when the sales happen, but uh, she's never been to school. Our little one is going to preschool. And we need, you know, we have like a list of supplies we need to get. Because that's the kind of mother I am now, the one with us kid in school. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I, um, I haven't actually looked at the results of this weekend's poll, but I asked in that poll, which if you haven't seen it, it's in the community tab on my channel, um, whether you plan in the morning or in the evening. I actually tend to be the person who plans the morning of, um, like, I know that I have to go to work, right? But then, like, while I'm at work, I'll be thinking about the things that I'm going to do on my lunch break. I'll be thinking about the things that I have to do in the evening. Like, I know, actually, I know what I have to do tonight is get the crock pot ready. So at some point tomorrow, I'll have to put the crock pot on. But I think that's, yeah, it's in the morning. All right, put that here. There you go. That's one thing I need to do tomorrow. We're making white chicken chili. And I do need to do this thing, this meal plan. Uh, because that's like the last thing on my meal planning insert, as you see here. Meatballs. I made those today. The last thing I have here is chili. Oh, I ate the last portion of this. We still have a couple leftovers. Um, we're going to have chili tomorrow night. And that's probably good for two nights because it has a lot of leftovers. It's bigger things. I like making something big that has a lot of leftovers. Um, but yeah, then I need to. I really need to go through our kitchen and figure out, like, I think we have a lot of odds and ends that could be, like, most of a meal, so I have to figure that out. We're going to start getting a lot more stuff in the garden soon. We had our first green beans last night, and that was exciting. We just started making some pickles. That's very exciting. Um, we just, my cherry tomatoes just set their first tiny, teeny, tiny little green fruits. That's exciting. Our pumpkin is like the size of a watermelon and as green as a watermelon and it is someday going to turn orange. But I'm excited that we're growing our own jack-o'-lantern this year. Knock on wood. Uh, I would, but this is an actual real wood. If you've been able to see it, get it like, I don't know if you can tell, but down uh, at that end, my arms are sweating because it's so hot in here and it keeps sticking to this vinyl background and um, pulling it up. And I keep thinking that's making me look super unprofessional, but here I am pulling back the curtain, pay no attention. Uh, it's just the way it is. I took out this little today thing because it was getting in my way. Today when I was working from home, uh, which was unexpected because I was feeling fine on Friday, so I didn't bring home my work bujo. So instead I took um, a blank piece of paper, it was just like a grid piece of paper, and I put that here. So I didn't have this in the middle. I had Monday on this side for like stuff to do on my lunch break and quick little breaks here and there to like put some clothes away and stuff. And then um, this side was just a grid piece of paper that had like my basic standard rapid log that I do in my work bujo, which is normally in a moleskin, and that's in the office. And so when I go back to work tomorrow, because now I'm feeling better, um, I will take that. It's, it's tucked in the back here because you can't see it because it's proprietary, whatever. Um, but I'm going to take that out and tape it into my work bujo. So I felt kind of like I knew what I was doing there. Um, Unfortunately, most of the stuff I needed to do was stored outside my bujo. Um, there's like a shared um, Excel sheet that has a major to-do list I keep, you know, on top of, and everything else is in either my inbox or in QuickBase, which is the software we use. Anyway, you don't really care about that. It's just that that is why I took this bookmark out. Um, this also does not feature always in my. Instagram Instagram photos because it kind of does get in the way. Anyway, I hope that that was 
useful to you. I was trying to make this week's Play With Me video a little bit more practical because I know a lot of times it can be, it's easiest to just like turn on some music and fast forward through the decorative stuff. Um, it's much harder, as you saw, to talk and write at the same time. So I do like to occasionally get real nitty gritty and actually show you the process of like where in my planner I'm getting my tasks. Which actually speaking of, I should have checked my calendar in the front. Oh gosh, yeah, it's the, all right, it's the 15th this week. So I do need to um, do these things. Oh yeah, speaking of date specific tasks, I thought I was gonna like wrap up. Uh, I need to do my baby is turning nine months on Wednesday, yesterday, so uh, I'm still taking a photo every single month because she's only my second, you know, by the time we get to several more I'll probably have forgotten. With Agnes, I every single month I did it on the day she turned that month. Even when she had like a cold and one of those months she looks totally miserable. Uh, with Bridget, I've gotten one day or one month one day late so far. Um, which no one would ever notice and I'm the only one who remembers and honestly I couldn't even tell you which month it was except if I got on my camera roll uh, anyway and then I need to do the things um, the middle of the month I changed the razor blade uh, I wash did the little tablets in the washer and uh, washing machine and dishwasher and Oh yeah, the coal bags, which I don't know if they're kind of woo or whatever, but there's these little bags of coal they're supposed to like freshen the air and you're supposed to like refresh them in the sunlight. I don't know. I, I do it and I haven't actually like bothered to look into if there's any scientific bathing for this. It's supposed to be a thing. All right. That's, I think that's all I have to say to you. I don't know. If I love something major out, like why are you doing whatever? Uh, then leave that in comments because I will answer my, qu any questions there. I need to just like stop recording, take a drink of water, and turn on the fan. I hope you guys are having decent weather wherever you are, uh, that it's not ridiculously hot, and uh, that you are having a good week, that you're staying healthy, and all of that. Have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video, as long as you don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Bye, guys.